it takes a while before actually I sit and write. Uh, it, it is a longer process of a lot of research, it, you know, it's a, and, and a research that is combined by uh, researching books, in which the place is a sofa, pretty much horizontal position, or feet on some kind of surface, uh, or a hammock, and, uh, and, and that, that, that can take months and months, and that's combined with phone calls to, in many cases, experts, uh, or visits to them, you know, talking to them and, and so on, before I even start writing. In Roma, it was, a different, it was a different experience because the research was my own memory, so <laughs> that, that, that required a lot of horizontal position in sofas or hammocks, you know, in which it was just more about getting lost in your memories, in my memories. But uh, when the actual writing process begins, and then after that, it, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, process that is, again, in a sofa or a hammock, um, that that can be extended and walks and walks and just uh, doing domestic activities of thinking out, thinking out, thinking out. Because I have to say, once that I write a screenplay, I'm, uh, I think that all the screenplays I have written, they've been written maybe in three weeks. The, the thing that it takes longer is the thought, thought out process. And, and once that I'm writing, you, you, generally the process is one more time. Uh, so if I would fit on some uh, on, on a coffee table or something and computer and on the legs and just writing like that. Once in a while, you know, like I, I try to pretend I'm disciplined, I sit down with a computer in a table. Any screenwriter is writing for the screen. You know, is writing to to, for all of that stuff that is there is to be com conveyed uh, in pictures, ultimately. So one way or another, all writers, we have to, to visualize, you know. Um, and I, I believe the more visual the screenplay is, uh, it just it makes us an easier journey for the director. So yes, I'm, of course I'm visualizing. I'm, when I'm, I'm, I'm writing stuff, I'm seeing that stuff. You know, um, uh, I have collaborated with uh, other writers or directors writing, in which uh, of doing that I'm, I'm describing stuff, and the director may do it differently, but there is already uh, there's already a rhythm in 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 terms of uh, of, of the flow of, of, of the film. So I think it's very important to, to, to think in terms of pictures. The, the process of Children of Man was interesting because I never read, I, I, I never read the book and I ne never read the, uh, anything except um, I was sent this synopsis. Uh, you know, sometimes you know, your agency or other people send you, you know, I, I tend not to read full screenplays so unless they are fully recommended by friends uh, or people I trust because uh, I, it distracts me from my own writing process. So it was, uh, it was sent the synopsis of, of, of the P.D. James novel in which it was maybe one, it was this, this one page and I was intrigued by the premise. I was intrigued by, by uh, what, by this world without, without children, and this man that 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 that, that connects with this woman, uh, who who is the first woman to to bear a child to, 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 to bear a child in in, in in many 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 years, and uh, but it was a complete and then immediately kind of a film came out in my in in my in my head, and I decided I want to do that film. Completely inspired by amazing, I'm so grateful with P.D. James to have learned this amazing, amazing concept. Uh, the characters are quite different. I kept the names because the names of the characters were fantastic as well. But uh, the, the, the characters are quite different is, uh, because actually the, the woman bearing the child in P.D. James is the character of Julianne Moore. 
Is, uh, so it's, there is no reference to immigrants or stuff like that. This is stuff that, uh, because at the same time I was very intrigued about uh, where this new century, this was 2000, this new century was, how, how the shape that this new century was going to take. And I wanted to explore that theme. I wanted to dive deep into it. And I saw this as an amazing opportunity to do so. There was already a, a screenplay that was, had been written uh, based upon the P.D. James, James uh, book that I decided not to read. I didn't read the book, I didn't read that screenplay. And with uh, Tim Sexton, uh, a writer, collaborator of mine, we just uh, elaborated this new story based upon that, 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 uh, that premise. Uh, I, asked, I, I told Tim that I didn't want to read anything because I, I didn't want it to distract from my, the film that I have in mind, but said, if you want to read it, read it. And if you think there's something worth uh, rescuing from that for our film, you know, it's great. But I think that what I read in the synopsis is enough. And he read the book and says, I, I, actually, the book is quite good, but it's a complete different, it's a complete different uh, uh, movie, the movie based upon the book than the movie that is based upon, upon this other idea. In Gravity was something similar. I was not interested in doing a science fiction movie. I want to do a film uh, that, because what you see, generally speaking, is technology that exists. It's not uh, that we're inventing technology and we're setting the film in, a, in, in, in the future. And when I started writing this with Jonas Cuaron, uh, the, 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 our two references, or three references, were uh, Dead Man's Scapes by Bresson, uh, Duel by Spielberg, and Runaway Train. You know, the, the, our references were not science fiction. Uh, and particularly that manscapes, you know, because we, it was this, this thing of the journey of that manscapes of a man escaping a prison as a metaphor of breaking its own limitations. It was pretty much what we wanted to do, but in space. You always think that the hardest thing, the scene that, 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 that you have written is the one that you're writing in, that's in, 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 in this moment, you know, in the moment. Seriously, it's every single thing I'm going to write. Uh, there's always almost like a fear of diving into the water. Uh, that once that you start the scene, everything flows. It's as if you jump into water and suddenly you're enjoying the water and you're swimming. But the toughest thing is are those is that first line, the first line, and and how you're going, because once that you, you, you have that first line, everything starts to make sense, you know, but the, that's always the hardest thing. I, I know stuff that I have, re, that I regret, and I regret just because I didn't have the tools and the experience when I was younger. Um, but one thing is not to, to seek refuge in technique. You know, there's a, a, there's a comfort that can be taken in, in technique, and it can be very dangerous. Uh, and, not, and, and try to recognize film as a language, as early and as, and as soon as possible. Uh, not film as something that is inheriting from literature, or from drama, or from painting but something that is an art, in, it's, a, it's a language in its own form. Uh, uh, and, and try to write and direct for that, for that form. Another, th another thing is not to allow yourself to be sideways. Uh, for many years in my early career, uh, I forgot that I was a writer because screenplays were available. And, uh, and I think I lost several years of my creative life there.